Happy New Year guys, how are you? Type A here. Uh, someone in um, in YouTube, a subscriber, asked for a tutorial on parallel processing and multiband compression in Renoise and I'm pretty fucking glad that you asked for this because th this is topic that I, I've posted in the forum and People start dropping a lot of mixed question, mixed answers, and but basically telling that we don't need a multi-band compression. Uh, we just need a parallel processing doofer so we can make whatever the fuck we want. And I'm pretty uh, pretty agree with that. But uh, multi-band compression is something that you uh, most of the times you're going to use in your in your music in your missing mixing and uh, Renoise already has uh, three different multi-band comp uh, uh, compressor devices already built in and I just think it will be really easy for for the Renoise team to pack these uh, three compressors do the add another device that that do the multi-band splitting of the frequencies and some control over that and also put like put like some kind of scope or uh, enhance the the proper visualization feedback we need to to fine tune and make the adjustments for for these devices like any other multi-band compression out there and we can make a multi-band compression right now in Reno is but only in the sampler the sampler effects doing parallel processing using s several layers of of effects and I'm going to show you how to do that and then I'm going to show you the other way using the send channels but I don't recommend to anyone that uses send channels to do parallel processing especially because you ended up like with 30 send channels and you have the the incoming signal from one track then then split it in three different send channels and that's not practical or this is not going to make your project easy to navigate and once a project starts like a certain time then you have a lot of instruments and a lot of tracks going around you don't definitely you don't want any extra 20 channels of, of send channels doing three different bands or something like that so coming to show you guys and let's load a loop or something samples other mm. oh, shit Okay, that did not work. I think this is 110. No. Yeah. Okay, so first thing we need to do is go to the sampler instrument, go to effects, Create a, fir a first effects chain signal. Then add three different more and rename it as low, mid, and high. Uh, browse for the multi van send device. And what this device is going to do is send the, the incoming signal and splitting the signal into three different bands, basically what any multi-band compressor do uh, does to the signal. And you can you have the individual control over a lot of these parameters. And one of one of them is the amount. You can you can see reflector here in the graphic, the amount of signal you're sending to the to the different three three uh, effects change the, the, the three different layers and 
but we we want to send all the all of the signals to to the individual layer so we just need to to tell tell the device that which which is uh, which uh, which chain is the the one we're going to use so the first is going to be low mid and high Uh, we we already see that the first uh, chain, the signal chain, is not is not sounding anymore. You see the the blue uh, meter picking, and the one that's outputting the signal to the track are the, the three remaining effects uh, chains. And you, what what we use just now is basically splitting the signal. Now we need to basically add three different compressors and set them up to to multi-band compress but this is something i recommend if you guys are like um, you want to do sound design in the in the instrument effects and you don't have any multi-band compressor available with you like any bst but if you have a bst please use the bst it's going to save you a lot of time it's going to save CPU power because we are in a lot of different uh, chains and three different devices to do the one, basically one thing. So also you are going to realize that it's not easy to set up uh, the, fine, the, the different fine tune or adjustment to the individual bands uh, with this configuration because you don't have any visual feedback. I mean, you have the, the you, you kind of see in this band how the, the lows are picking here here and here but rather than that you don't have like the the, um, the shape of the waveform that's going the signal after it's been uh, after it's been compressed and then after the compression and that that's basically it you can set up the threshold the, the different controls for the compression make a volume and when you want to send the three signals, uh, the three different bands to a one band, you just need to add a, a one, another effects change, rename it as all, one, uh, compress, I don't know, and look for the send device. And use three send devices, put in a mute and send it to all one compressed. That's it. Okay, so that's basically it for multi-band compression. The other way is to do the do the same. You say multi-band compression, multi-band send device, and send uh, the individual bands to three different send channels and then add a compressor on any send channel on, on these three send channels and do the same totally not recommend use any of these like these configurations for mixing inside Renoise what you can do is to look for any free um, multi-band compressor out there or just simply buy one I've been using a lot one of the one of the ones that comes with reactor the I think it's called flood blaster flood blaster 2 this is a multi-band compression device it splits the signal into lows a uh, mid low and mid high and then the high and what I basically uh, do all the time is to scroll through different presets and then find tune the different controls until I get the, the sound that I want and basically I use this uh, for sound design when I'm making bass sounds or I'm making drums and I want to the different samples to have the presence that I want I basically uh, do the multi-band compressor render that to a sample and then use the sample already process and I definitely now recommend using this device into the master channel uh, if you want a multi-band compress in the master channel just get a I mean ozone something like that 
or offer you if you don't have it use the free device that you have and that's my advice on multiband compression any any IQing or dynamics processing that you that you do in Raynoise try to try and get the the best device you can afford because this is this is like mixing it's basically the backbone of any production you can do a lot of sound design weird shit using the most unconventional methods but when it, when it comes to mixing your sounds you need uh, high quality tools and that's basically my advice on on the topic i'm going to put a link in the, in the description the the topic that i've started in the renoise forum so you guys can read uh, a lot of a lot of producers and a lot of users in the forum post a lot of questions uh, post a lot of answers to my uh, to my question and yes i i think that someone at some point uh, uh, put a link to to different uh, free multiband compressor devices or i i think are the ones that uh, the, the the company that makes reaper offers as a free download in their website and hope this is some some kind somehow useful to you guys uh, i'm waiting to complete the the build of, of my pc to start continue make to continue making the tracks from crash and the other more complex videos uh, so far i i mean I'm just missing a power supply for the PC and an SSD and a regular HDD to start working. I already have the 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 remaining components. And please hope this is helpful to you. Post your comments in the in the YouTube comments or whatever you want.